I like to think of 2015 as the year of budget smartphones when talking about trends in the consumer electronics sector. You may have noticed it's 2016 and the trend of powerful budget smartphones continues with the Huawei Honor 5X and the Blue Vivo 5. If you're in the market for a new budget smartphone, I'm gonna hopefully help you out and make this comparison as simple and straightforward as possible. So what's neat about both of these $200 off-contract smartphones is that they feature a unibody aluminum build construction. The Honor 5X looks nicer, but its polish is so smooth that the metal actually starts to feel a bit like plastic. The Vivo 5 features a less polished rear that adds a hint of texture that the Honor 5X just doesn't offer. I also like that it's thinner coming in at 6.9 millimeters thick versus the 8.2 millimeter thick 5X. Now both feature a micro SD card slot for expandable storage, but it's worth noting that the base model of the 5X features 16 gigabytes of storage, whereas the base model of the Vivo 5 features 32 gigabytes of storage. In the display department, it's gonna come down to personal preference like most things in life. On one hand, we have a 5.5 inch 1080p LCD panel uh, present in the 5X, and on the other, we have a 5.5 inch Super AMOLED 720p resolution display. I like pixels, I'm all about the pixels, but I like the AMOLED display better. Even though the Vivo 5 display has less pixels per inch than the 5X, the color vibrancy, the contrast, and even the brightness are superior. It's even better in direct sunlight. Now what you can't look past is the software experience. Each device runs an unjust skin on top of Android 5.1 Lollipop. There is no app drawer and notification panels and quick settings uh, can be a bit of a mess to the native stock Android user. I highly recommend you download and install some form of stock Android launcher from the Play Store, but keep in mind, it won't fix everything. If I had to pick a favorite, I'd lean more on the side of the Vivo 5, simply because the animations are smoother than on the 5X and there are slightly more stock Android elements in the skin than its competitor, most notably the notification cards and overview tray. Both devices do not feature NFC. The Honor 5X does feature a fingerprint scanner, whereas the Vivo 5 does not. The fingerprint scanner is on the back of the phone in a natural place for your index finger, and it's an excellent scanner. It unlocks the phone very quickly. It's more consistent and quicker than a flagship smartphone like the LG V10. Performance is a bit of a mixed bag though overall, because no matter the differences between the two, they both perform very well considering their price and their build and all things considered. The Honor 5X features a quad-core Snapdragon 616 processor with 2GB of RAM, while the Vivo 5 features a MediaTek octa-core processor with 3GB of RAM. In general, I prefer Snapdragon chipsets over MediaTek chipsets, but when we're talking about budget mobile CPUs, the difference between Qualcomm chips and MediaTek chips are minor. After running each device through Geekbench 3, I found the Honor 5X to narrowly beat the Vivo 5, by no more than one or 200 points. You will find that is not the case though when running Antutu or GFX Bench benchmarks. But I will say apps open up and load a hair quicker on the Honor 5X. Scrolling though is much smoother on the Vivo 5 as the skin appears to be more optimized. Uh, the additional gigabyte of RAM or so may help with that as well. Both smartphones feature a 13 megapixel rear facing camera sensor. I do prefer the Honor 5X sensor because it appears to capture more detail when zooming in or cropping an image. It also doesn't overexpose subjects quite as often as the Vivo 5. In addition, the Vivo 5 tends to oversaturate images to the point where it's unappealing. I'm all about vibrant, colorful photos and displays, but there's always a limit. Remember, everything can be construed with a bell curve. Now with a metal build construction, that means you generally can't remove or replace the battery without disassembling the entire device. The Honor 5X features a 3000 milliamp battery while the Vivo 5 features a 3150 milliamp battery. Battery life is pretty excellent for both devices, but the Vivo 5 takes the cake. Uh, where the Honor 5X can get close to six hours of on-screen time, the Vivo 5 can get closer to eight hours of on-screen time. Both smartphones feature bottom-facing speaker grills. After testing the sound quality with some trusty Chet Faker tunes, I was pleasantly surprised with the Vivo 5 speaker. It's not great, but it definitely sounds better than the Honor 5X. It's a crisper, louder, and more defined sound overall. But overall, both smartphones, I think, are well worth $200 off contract. The Honor 5X is the more popular smartphone because it comes from a larger manufacturer, but that doesn't mean it's necessarily the better device. I think the fingerprint scanner though is brilliant. Uh, it might be what really helps you decide on which smartphone to select. 
It's not every day you see a budget smartphone feature a fingerprint scanner, but with that said, I do prefer the Vivo 5 in nearly every other department. Uh, the build, the display, performance, speaker, and battery life. I will say the camera performance is considerably worse. And in a lot of departments, the difference is negligible. I think for those of you in the market for the best budget smartphone for $200, you cannot look past these two smartphones. You heard my opinion of each device. Now I wanna hear yours. Let me know which smartphone you like more and why in a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDag.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.